hi welcome back to my channel i have million and a million of kisses for all of you who are watching my channel i love you all and thank you for your support and of course because you're watching me in today's video i want to talk about my first time that i came out to my parents and to my family. I had like 15 years old when I came out to my mom and it's going to turn out to be the biggest mistake of my life. I will tell you that in a continuous story and you have a full story in my mental hospital lockdown. I was always this femme petite person and I like to experiment. I always will wear my sister's dress. I will always wear my mother's makeup. And one time, I went to my room and I see my mom's door open and I think, why shouldn't I go in there, take her makeup and just be beautiful? And I did that because she was supposed to come home from work at 5 o'clock and I pick her makeup around the three o'clock and I th I thought in my mind I have two hours to prepare myself to be this beautiful woman I always wanted to be and she came home early and caught me wearing her makeup wearing my sister's dress and she went crazy she was like are you ashamed of yourself look at you you look like a disgusting creature. And I was shocked. I didn't know, you know, what that mean because why am I disgusting? Just because I want to look beautiful? Just because I want to look like I feel? And she told me, when your father came back, we will have a serious conversation. And I think in myself, why am I keeping who I am shut down inside of me. I should tell them who I am and maybe then they will be understanding about who I am and what I like. And if every parents, normal parents out there, they will be accepting me who I am. And I remember sitting in my room for the next three hours and my father came home from work and they're talking downstairs something and when he went up to my room I was thinking oh great now we will have a conversation and he will say to me this and I will say to him that and he take big wooded thing from outside and he came up and beat the hell out of me he beat me across my legs, across my face. He didn't even look. He was yelling, you're ashamed this family. You are disgusting. You are a faggot. How can you do that? Are you normal? You're sick. You will never be who you want to be in my house under my roof. And I was crying and I was screaming, please don't hurt me. It, it hurts so much. And he didn't even want to hear it. After he did that, he went to a toilet and because I had all these like bloody things all over me, he took alcohol, put in some in a paper and he came back and he tortured me. He put that all over my bloody things and it hurt like hell. I begged him to stop. I begged him just to stop doing that. And he then told me, admit who you are. Tell me who you are. Come on and now be a brave person. Do you want makeup? Do you want a woman's dress? And when he's doing that, he's putting this alcohol all around my bloody things and it's hurt like hell. I did not come to myself for five days at least. I didn't go to school even then. And I thought in the morning, you know, they will be normal. They will say sorry for what they did to me. They didn't give me to eat for that whole day. And I don't know, 
can I ever love my parents? I don't know, can I ever forgive them for what they did to me? Because they, they ruined my life. They did that to me and that was not the end of the hell I went through with them. Because afterwards, they locked me in a mental institution telling that I should be a man, that I should be this soldier person that they imagined in their head I should be. So my coming out story was a horror. And I don't know if there are any parents like that out there. But when my father tell that to another person, you know, when my father speaks to their to the friends, they tell him that he is a hero because he did that to me. And that he is a hero because he abandoned me like a dog. So, in my opinion, he is a coward and he is nothing less than a monster. And I cannot say that I actually hurt my parents, but I don't like them as well. Because they make me so lonely and so, so full of shame of myself like I will never complete something and I will never do something in my life because of this who I am that is my coming out story and it's not even close to be nice I hope you like what I'm doing and I hope I'm gonna see you in my next video I will try and be a little positive and put a little positive atmosphere in all of this and yes, I am doing ASMR too. I love that. That relaxed me in so many ways when I was hurt and depressed. And thank you all for watching.